Yes. Have you got a minute? Yes, of course. Come and sit down. Stephen. I feel rather bad about my lack of input in the case conference. I wouldn't want you to think I wasn't interested. Oh, thank you. I think you were quite right to confront the patient in this case. You've got integrity, Stephen, and you're surprisingly courageous. No, actually, I'm not. Oh, I think you are. And I'm sure you weren't influenced by Bob's childish remarks. Well, I was a bit. <laughs> Typical weak male response to the phallic bully. Well, Bob sees himself as a hard man. But when he finds someone stronger than himself, he rolls over on his back like a puppy. I don't find that very attractive in a grown man. Do you? Well, no. Fury, of course, is the same type. Oh, you know him then? His wife used to be a patient of mine, Stephen. I hope I was able to help her. John Fury is a bully of the crudest kind, but he lacks any inner certainty. I like to picture him as a hollow plaster phallus. Do you see what I mean? Yes, I do. Uh, all too vividly. Good. I won't pretend you'll get no trouble from Fury. You will. But it's essential that you continue to confront him with his own contradictions. If you do that, I'm sure the plaster will crack. Yes, I see. You'll have to fight him, of course. Perhaps even physically. But when he sees your determination, I'm sure he'll capitulate. Anyway, I'm sure you know how to look after yourself. No, actually, violence isn't my thing at all. I don't confuse gentleness with weakness. And in any case, you have no alternative. If you show him any weakness, he'll destroy you. Yes, I see. Well, thanks very much, Rosemary. It's a pleasure, Stephen. Looks as if you've had a good day anyway. You think? Well, all this, I'm tremendously impressed. This is a bad day's work. On a good day, maybe one line, but a good one. Same with poetry. Do you know a poet? We have just one, but a good one, called Uponya. Do you know what we call Shakespeare in Burma? The British Uponya. This is a bad day's work, Chen. I think I better get pissed tonight. Chen, do you know anything about self-defense? Of course, I practice self-defense. Really? Yes, I come to England, very safe country. That's my self-defense. It's not a safe country, Chen. Try Burma. Actually, what I meant was unarmed combat, that sort of thing. Not popular in Burma. Armed combat, yes. Carry a sharp sword, always strike the first blow. Do you want to kill someone, Stephen? I could get behind that. I could hang loose. I want to kill my professor. You could help me do that. I could help you kill your enemy. What do you say? Could you hack it? No, it's um, unrealistic. Thanks anyway, Chen. See? Look at that. One day's work. Look how much I've done for you today. I'm not finished yet. By God, no. You don't do all that for me, John. Don't I? Don't I? 
Then who the hell do I do it for? Do you think I enjoy it? You know you do. You did. Are you going out again? You know I am. I told you. It's only one night a week, after all. And there's cauliflower cheese in the oven. I need meat. I'm not a sociologist. I can't work on hippie food. Go out and buy yourself a steak, then. You'd enjoy that. It'd make a change. I haven't the time. I have to work. Tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Lynn. It's uh, problems at work. Lynn, do you think it's a terrible burden being a man? I'm not a man, Stephen. I'm a girl. Yes. I hadn't noticed that. Good. Actually, Stephen, I don't think men and women are all that different. I know it's heretical, but uh, that's what I think. All people are doing. Yes. I mean, there are some differences. Men are vainer than women. And women are nicer to go to bed with. Naturally. How do you know? Research findings. You know, softer skins, not so many hang-ups. You don't get any of that performance rubbish with women. You don't get any of that performance rubbish with me. Actually, you don't get any performance. Sounds all right. Restful. <laughs> What's the matter with you tonight? Let's go. Oh, hang on a bit. I haven't finished my drink. Shh. The man at the bar. Now, don't look. I don't want him to see me. Do you think you could manage to get me a large scotch if you're quite finished on chat? Why not? It's a bit embarrassing. I'll tell you later. Come on, please, Liz. It's too late. It's looking over. Stephen, what are you doing? Oh, I think I've got my... Take her! Oh, God. I want you, take her. Oh, um, evening. Has to beat me up. I'll try and get the tweet. If that doesn't work, just pull down with the first punch. Take her. You are one hell of a doctor. Those pills are magic, especially with whiskey. Here's looking at you, Dacre. Um, you really shouldn't take alcohol with them. Don't worry, I'll buy you another. Two double scotches. Three doubles. Sorry, my dear. This man is one hell of a doctor, you know that? Yes, I thought he might be. I'm not one of his patients myself. Never ill, see. So... Neither am I. Neither am I. Come on, Fido, where are those whiskies? Well, this is very pleasant. I mean, do you know Lynn, Professor Fury? Of course I know Lynn. Everyone knows Lynn. Hell of a bright girl, even if she is at the soggy end of social psychology. We all love her little articles. Ah, there you are. About time, too. Here, give the change. Right. 